Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on Total War Elysium. I am Sergar and I'm pleased to meet you again on this beautiful game. Today we will look at a Napoleon deck, but not a Napoleon deck based on artillery, but a Napoleon deck based on planet cards. So the objective, the goal of this deck is to um, be able to uh, pass through uh, the early game where and go to the to the mid late game where the deck is really shining because planet cards are cards you want to keep into your hands to have a bonus effect and this card and uh, uh, this bonus effect uh, happens at every day break so we are gonna see the deck is based very uh, on two phases one to hold the early game to uh, be able to uh, not lose some max HP, so not lose some HP and uh, tank uh, the early game with Napoleon until day two, uh, mid day two comes, so turn five, six, when you can start to play uh, your planet cards and uh, then just destroy uh, your opponents, would value your opponents with the plane effect. So, let's see what's inside the deck. So we have Stockade. So Stockade is here to work with Earthwork Battery. So Earthwork Battery is a... I think Earthwork Battery is kinda uh, a bait because it's a bait if you want to base your deck on the card. I don't think this card is good on main card, core card of, the, uh, of your deck, but I think the card is pretty okay if you pick it once in early game with Stockhead only to be able to uh, put a big front lane with a palisade and a lot of taf a lot of, taf of artillery sorry, uh, behind it to be able to uh, shoot your opponent units. But when uh, S4 battery passed turn 4, four 5, I think it's, the card is pretty weak. So here this card is only here to uh, hold the early game we have voltigers voltigers is a pretty good card uh, for the early game especially against uh, aggro decks like uh, pentacillias like um, lagerta because the fact that this camouflage means the opponent can't target it and you can keep it stealth from your opponent and until the moment you need it to make some trails to kill some units etc so the card is pretty good against uh, aggro decks but pretty bad against everything else artillery officers is here to work with uh, earthwork battery so you will pick it once in the early game to be able to combat it with uh, the foot artillery that napoleon will deploy and uh, Earthwork Battery will deploy too, but after that, uh, you will not be pick a, you, will, you will not pick it anymore because uh, we have planned uh, your card will be planned, so uh, it will not be so that useful because again we are not a deck based around artillery. You have extraordinary advance because it helps you to grow your decks plus. It's a tutor. It's a tutor for a plan card, which become plain when uh, you use uh, when you use extraordinary advance to grow it. So it's very good. We have supply train because supply train is always good to have to gain another supply at the beginning of your round and whenever you draw cards, it's super effective. Calibrated onions because this may be one of the best card of uh, Empire of French Republic. Chasseur H5 because it's one of your fast answer to uh, some units. So your player play uh, long archers on the back lane uh, or play some artillery on the back lane. And so you just Chasseur H5 kill it pretty fastly. So the card is pretty good in the early game. Fresh orders because it's do it's it works pretty combo pretty well with supply train. Uh, also artillery because it's same as Chasseur H5 but it's an artillery so. You have short range, which is pretty good. Head de camp is uh, super mandatory. Uh, to be honest, I don't think I, I've been played this game. Uh, I made some tests before showing the, showing the deck, of course, to, just to be sure that 
uh, the, the text works and is uh, efficiency, but is efficient. But at the count was mm, that's a key card against aggro matchup because you may not have I don't know you may not have S work artillery and you have stockade so you play stockade etc. Or you may have S work artillery but no stockade and you need to fence you need to uh, to tank a lot of damage with Napoleon and so at the end of uh, at the midday two you are at maybe maybe eight maybe six health and that's where at the can shine because at this moment unless your opponent have a big big board and at the can it become useless but if the board is pretty even and you opponent can't trade anything etc you just put at the can or if you have last say on day break effect you just put at the can and it will restore nine health to both general so you're okay if your opponent heals it's okay but uh, more importantly you will help yourself and come back to 14, uh, 16, 15 life, which is uh, a lot. And yeah, at the con is pretty mandatory. You can't really play this deck, or it will be very difficult to play this deck without uh, at the con. Carabiniers, the Carabiniers is a good, good card plan. Uh, the card is pretty correct if not playing it, but you will nearly always plays uh, with a plain effect because deal 2 damage to any target is pretty is pretty good it can go face it can help you to trade something the card is very very good crack shot another very good card deal 5 damage to any target units you draw a card so one you draw a card it's always good but two uh it helps you to kill some big units like um you would play i guess i don't know maybe uh you will play against uh, Adventure, so you can one-shot Adventures. You will play against Wanted Brigands, it can one-shot Wanted Brigands. You will play against Vision Watch, it can watch on it, Vision Watch 2, or Camel Nomads, etc. So there is a lot of cards, Saboteurs. There is a lot of cards that can be killed only with Quackshot, plus you draw, so it's very, very, very good uh, card. Grenadiers, it's a very good card too, since you uh, will able to stun your opponent and on splash effect so you will stun three uh, cards so three units three structure and even generals plus it's at six health so it's a lot of health very tanky it helps you to hold the front lane and um, yeah grenadiers is very very good card marshall knee um this card is not monetary but it's pretty good in the deck of course because uh, on Chatterid, deploy a lancer for each planet card in hand. So if you have two uh, planet cards and you signature your cards at Napoleon, count as a planet card, of course. So it will deploy uh, a lancer for each planet card, so which is very, very, very good. So you can have two free lancers, six attack, three elf. So it helps you to hold the front lane. And uh, yeah, the, the card is pretty good. Not monetary, you can replace it if you want but uh of, if you have not the card but it's very cool student beverage deal free to uh, free damage on the entire enemy line pretty important pretty good the whole guard the whole guard is as martial name not a monetary but it works pretty well so it's a four eight whenever an enemy attack your general this attack it but on the playing card this gain plus two plus two for each other planet card in your hand. So if you play the old guard when it was playing and you have uh, two planet card in your hand, this become uh, eight twelve, which is very good card. So yeah, the old guard is not monetary, but the card is pretty nice. And grand battery deploy two cannons. Plans you deploy three instead. I don't think this card is mandatory, but it's a good card for the late game. Uh, and you have plenty effect, which is pretty uh, good. And cannon on the front line are kinda okay. So, so, yeah. so if you don't have all this card, especially Marshal Ney, so full guard, uh, on the full guard, or at the core. Well, at the core, as I said, it's very difficult to uh, to not play it. But if you don't have Marshal Ney, you can play Perfect Victory if you want. Uh, you can play, I don't know, maybe Blast. The Young Guard 
But even if I don't think the unit board is pretty good, uh, general bodyguard, why not? It can be, uh, it can be, uh, it can be okay because you will have not, you will not have some mini. Uh, uh, if you play, I guess, aggro, aggro deck will have a lot of, uh, of enemy units, so be able to put a general bodyguard pretty quickly is uh, is good. Either you can put uh, construction, why not? Stone bridge can be good too. Uh, Stone bridge could be a good addition to a uh, good add to the deck. Land infantry too, privateers too. Um, something that will help you to uh, vineyard, why not? Light infantry, why not? But you want maybe something you to help you to hold uh, to pass through the so through the early game. I'm not playing fast done because I think fast done is pretty slow in the kata deck. It can be good, but in many cases, I don't know. It's kind of so so. Um, in many cases, I'm just I just have fast done in hand and I can do nothing. So I prefer to have cards to take my time, optimize my turn. And to be able to wait to have my uh, card become plain uh, by themselves on the daybreak, then use fan zone. But it's your choice. You can use. Uh, you can change if you want. Uh, if you want it. So yeah, I'm just checking if there's another card. You can put condition main also. Uh, also. Uh, conceal can be good too if you want, especially in the early game, to conceal Napoleon and uh, avoid. Uh, one turn to not taking damage so that's up for you that ups to you guys so let's Vive start la France. let's see if we can do something with this deck froze beware And we start against Priam. So against Priam, I'm gonna take Stockade, Earthwork Battery, Artillery Officers, Extraordinary Advance, Supply Train, Calibrated Ordnance, Fresh Orders, um, Carabineers. I think I'm gonna take. Well, the good Chancellor Ashfield or Artillery is a two choice I could. Hmm. I'm going to take Chasseur Ashfak. It's a little quicker on the curve. So you want I guess Priam. Priam is more a control deck, so you want to be able to just... Okay. Uh... So this game doesn't count, of course. But yeah, Priam Allez, is more uh, as it's a control deck. Uh, it's more a control deck, so you want to be able to just uh, uh, you want to be to, to think two three turns ahead. You need to think, um, okay, oh, I can out value Priam and maybe think one day, two days ahead and start uh, putting some draw cards fear. in your uh, in your decks before. Um, to be able to grow them fast and plain uh, very quickly on day two and day three to just uh, spam units on the board of Priam. It will not be before turn seven because doesn't uh, turn seven is a turn of demolition. So you want to put Priam in a bad situation and where uh, demolition was not enough to just kill you. So here I'm gonna take Again, just rush file as for pack three fresh orders. I can put for us artillery in my deck, um, but I'm playing against Ragnar, so maybe I will just play my little voltigeurs here. Oh, I should have not picked extraordinary advance. Sorry, my bad. So extraordinary advance should not pick it against uh, aggro deck. It's not a good way. It's not a good pick. Uh, you want to pick it against uh, more control decks, etc. But or mid-range deck, but can be good because uh, here I have my Calibrated Ordnance 
already in my hand, which is pretty bad, but uh, which is good. But since I have extraordinary advance, I would have preferred to have to have it inside of my deck than just uh, so I could uh, I could draw it already planned with extraordinary advance. I don't know if I'm explaining it well, but. Uh, But yeah, if you put extraordinary advance on day one in your deck, just pray for not have carbotted on it in your opening hand, so you'll be able to draw it already playing with the extraordinary advance. Let's so here, yeah, nothing to do. So I'm just gonna attack here. Play logistics. Give me one more provision next turn, so we'll be at four. So if we draw, I don't know, supply train, we'll be able to supply train, supply cash, fresh orders. Fresh orders. You have S4 back three token next turn. So I'm just gonna have bulky shirts. So on day two, I'm gonna take Ed de Camp, Carabiniers, Quackshot, Marshall Ney, Grenadiers, Sudden Beverage, Fresh Orders, Calibrated Unknowns, and Extraordinary Advance. Yeah. So, as we said, we're gonna put Earthwork. Stockade. I'm just gonna retreat and deal one to uh, torch bearer. So you have three units on the front line. He can't trade them. He can't kill everything right now. And you have uh, you have set up your, your artillery on the back end here. Plus we have calibrated ordnance, chasseur ashfile for the following turn, so So here, I'm gonna put artillery officers. 
I'm the front line. It's okay if he's lying. I just want to protect my front line here. Chasseur à cheval. So first Chasseur à cheval is going to kill the torch bearer. Then we're gonna push a lot of damage into uh, the spear main. And here I don't know if I want to supply cash into one shot. And kill this. I think I do. I don't know if he has well drilled and can move it and just push free. Uh, this could have been complicated. Okay, she'll beat us. Alright. That's for the to have. So it's it to absorb. Which is good. Okay, blow the sun. We should have stopped by the So we have Marshal Ney, which is a good card because you have two planet cards in your hand, we'll be able to draw some more next turn, plus he has 6 point health, which is a lot. And it's a cavalry, so okay, we will be able to uh, attack the stone bridge next turn. Can kill this. It's okay. We have Scarlet Bolt on one shot, so no problem. I don't really treat. Alright. Right, we are still gonna kill this. So now I'm just gonna economy advance. Then fresh orders. And the comp was here. Alright. So now we are picking Old Ward, Stone Beverage, Grenadiers, Crackshot, Carabiniers, Fresh Orders, Horse Artillery, Extraordinary Advance, Calibrated Ordnance, and Okay, we're Avenge. We're gonna kill this. We don't want to have a demolition at four. Could be complicated. So here I'm just gonna start by extraordinary advance, see what I got. Okay, that's an old war for next turn, which is good. It's 
So I'm just, since I'm the old guard, I don't want to use my carabiners, which was a good play. Carabiners on it, put a 4 4 here. But you have Marshall Lee that deployed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lancers. Plus next turn, we have an old guard, we have a built old guard uh, to come uh, that, will, uh, that will be able to put on the board. Did it. Look at that. What? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I, I don't know what to count. Sorry. Yeah, my opponent is dead here. Nothing he can do. So let's put this big old guard. 12 16. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Let's go to the face. All right. This one kind of fun. Of the game. Vive la France! But yeah, this this was kind of. Orphan their offspring! Okay, let's go up the same opponent. Sadly. So I'm gonna not pick actually in my advent this time. I'm gonna pick our artillery. Make the same mistake and eh? let me push on the light. Um... because it's kind of the same situation as the last game. So Bolchita here will be very good because I will be able to trade uh, the, the horse put on this turn and put the supply train pretty freely. 
so we'll not be able to trade it on bar so which means either he has uh, the high shot either he can't just kill it so if he can't just kill it it will be very good um, and on top 3 we'll be able to supply cash or artillery for example or see uh, what we have what we will be doing So yeah, that's why uh, Voltigeur is pretty good here because against Agro deck because if he was not here, I would not be able to kill or scoot, which means there will be one wounded unit, which means red cards will be reduced by one, will be reduced by one, and this Voltigeur here has only one point health, which means it die on pretty anything, which means that my opponent can't use the card to make uh, a red tag was which is good which is pretty pretty good okay she beat us on the face always you see not that uh, she beat us that was just on uh free uh flip with a full free precision free, sorry the shield beaters was on full free provisions and if my opponent uh, with uh, if I didn't play Voltigeurs, Oscoot was at one elf, uh, Shibitors was at two elf, and maybe he should have, he, he have he would have been able to curve uh, one other card. So yeah, pretty good spot here. Thank you Voltigeurs to exist and to be good against uh, Vikings. Um, So next turn is daybreak, so we will have calibrated ordnance. The spearmen are here. Right. My opponent is just gonna attack the spearmen. At the end of the turn. And we will just be able to kill it pretty quickly. The grenadiers, quick shot, carabiniers, fresh orders. At the camp, Cabrillons and Extraordinary at the camp. So, what can, what can I do here? I can. Artillery officers, supply cash, carry button on this. Which seem to be good. So, artillery officers. No, oh, what's your package? Just carry button on them. I have two one shots. But I don't have any phone plane, which can be. Pretty sad. Okay, blood out. I've got a front plane now. Oh yeah, I've got a pretty big front plane. So. Move, move, 
Let's walk back three. Okay. Retreats. Um, I'm gonna logistics. I don't know if it will be useful, but. Uh, You can kill it pretty easily. Long bow main. Hmm. We'll see what we will do. Fresh orders, pretty good. So I'm going to fresh orders. And to the damage seems pretty okay here. I'm gonna push free. So one of the things which is cool with this deck is you are able to draw pretty good. Uh, you have a good capacity of drawing with uh, extraordinary, extraordinary advance that make you draw, um, fresh order that make you draw two cards. Um, crack shots that make you draw and these three cards you will always put uh, them uh, in your deck uh, from day one to day uh, from day one to day uh, two uh, to end to the end of the game uh, you will nearly prove because you will not pick uh, crack shots uh, on day one uh, extraordinary items maybe on day one or two uh, you will not pick it but yeah, from day two, day three, you will always. Uh, that means that the three cards, so one uh, third of your deck is draw, draw a card as a drawing effect. So, which is pretty, pretty good. Plus, crack shot here is very good, like I said at the beginning of the video. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna play it. Huh? It's okay to give him nine more health. It's just putting us uh, in a situation where we can't lose anymore. Because we have board, we have high health, we have the draw, we have the control of the board. A ground battery, I pick it uh, at the beginning of day four. I don't want to have it uh, now because. I will just, if I got Grand Bread 3, it will not be planed. So I prefer to put some cards that can be planed uh, pretty quickly uh, and useful pretty quickly with Extraordinary Advance than a Grand Bread 3 that I will need to, add, to, uh, to wait at least the last day to, uh, to have it. And uh, if I draw it with uh, Extraordinary, Extraordinary, Extraordinary Advance, uh, I will not be able to play it. On day three, so on, on turn deck, on turn, uh, on turn ten. Yeah, it's kind of complicated to say. So, we had trade here, trade here. Trade can be on mans. I 
and just put cabinets here with no pain effect but uh, i don't want to wait three turns i want to put boards right now just gonna deal three even i'm gonna advance my, uh, my napoleon because i'm not i'm at 19 so i'm very very good spot here okay should be turns if it goes face it's just a big mistake you can't kill me you can't kill me anymore just by going face like a stupid man uh so should peter should have go here on the carabiners because now i'm just gonna push seven i don't think the four damage here was so important okay i'm gonna put the whole guard I mean, here I've been able to push just just to push seven, put it uh, press the last gasp, and now we have a four two three one six ten to uh, just to deal with. Uh, that shit better on phase was just bad. To be honest. Yeah, I don't give a single fuck about. Just run my units. I could have fucked this, but uh... yeah. Going face is not always the place. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, I think you have seen uh, what the deck could offer against. Well, Ragnar is not the best aggro deck, but it's kind of uh, an aggro deck. So just imagine. To be uh, more little value focus, more little uh, control focus against everything that play control like uh, Mario Internet, like um, Davu, like uh, Dong Zhuo, like um, uh, Priam, etc. And yeah, and against uh, against uh, aggro decks like that, uh, you have seen that it very uh, it's not so easy to to beat them, but just play your cards, optimize your turn, uh, and pray at the camp. <laughs> On that, I hope you will enjoy, uh, hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, tell me in the comments, uh, what do you think about it? Uh, if you want to see some cards that could be uh, put in this deck, and uh, don't feel, uh, don't be afraid to uh, subscribe to put a like and See you next time, it was Sergar at your service.